Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Monday and it is my day to get everything back to normal. After the weekend, I swear, there's only one person in this entire family that is my sole person. And it's not guest Sophie who's eating her supper, her breakfast. It's not Gabby who's eating her ice cream. It's not Ruby who's trying to get some food for herself. It's not Daisy who's looking for food in all the right places. It's Molly who just is waiting to go down to the barn. She's like, take me! It's all Molly. Molly is me. Molly is me. Penny is me. We all have the energy of the Border Collie in us. So uh, today is Monday and we're just headed down to the barn right now. Molly is waiting. I gotta get warm because apparently it's really cold outside. And you guys, I did not sleep last night. I, every once in a while, like so infrequently, I don't sleep. But the days that I don't sleep, I have energy throughout the whole entire day. So I don't know what's going on. All I know is that today is Monday and I am gonna ride my horse. Today is not a penny day. We stick to a super strict schedule. We ride our boys three times a week, and then Gabby has a bonus day. So Gabby rides four times a week. Oh, hello. Hello, this messy girl. <laughs> You're such a messy horse. There you go, Princess Penny. Princess Penny. Cold. I say we leave their blankets on. I gotta get see if Penny's blanket fits her. Sophie finally arrives in the day-by-day -day barn that is a mess. Don't judge us. Don't judge our mess, you guys. It's about time you got down here. Aren't you cold? No. Oh my gosh. People always message me and say, Laura, when should I get a horse? How do I know I'm ready? Or else they message me and they say, you're an idiot. You're not ready for a horse. There's so much criteria that people believe out there for when you're ready to get a horse. But I know the real answer of when you're ready to get a horse. You guys ready? It's like, not cold outside. Listen carefully and I will tell you when you're ready to get a horse. Having a horse is about one thing and one thing only. You have to love the horse so much that you want to do everything for their best Found interest. It on the ground face down. Oh, well that's a sign from God. <laughs> Crumbling. Look. Uh oh. Oh, let's run out because that mercury, if it breaks, it's dangerous and here, um, the garbage is in here. You know what this needs in it? What? Cheese. My life is such a whirlwind of talking, <laughs> interrupting my points. But basically, it's Dude. cold enough to wreck the thermometer off the wall, then it is a cold no. day. It was windy. It was windy, and it's so still windy. The door, so okay, the so my point is when you own a horse, you have to ride for the benefit of your horse, for her exercise level, for her peace of mind, to keep her sane. You have to do things with them when it's cold out, when it's rainy out, when you're tired, when it's not her day. You have to make time. You're not ready for a horse. You are not ready for a horse until you are able to make the time for the horse. I think and I believe that that is the biggest, most important criteria. And if that means that... <laughs> You can't catch her? <laughs> hey, wait, 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 stop. And stop. Just close your mouth when you're chewing. What happened? I can't catch her in a hot <laughs> She's like, I don't want you to catch me. That's the whole point. Our puppy's sleeping days are over. Sophie and I were talking about it today. We want to change her food back to the food she had when she had no energy. All right, so today we're going to try Penny. With a bit warmer of a blanket. I can't get it. Jump, baby, jump. Don't jump. Call jump, girl, jump. In my eyes. <laughs> That's a sign from God. Ooh. All right, we got it. Is this the warm one? Don't yeah. A little so bit it's warmer. Green I use. Yeah, and it is filthy. I don't like to wash them because it gets rid of all the waterproofing. Gabby yeah, got cobwebs in her eyes. Probably more dirt. All right, here. She's pinning her ears at you because she doesn't like it. She pins her ears at anybody who comes in her stall because she's been trained to back up and move away from them. And I think the way she was trained was not kind. She loves the blanket though. Uh-oh, there goes your dog. Can I go get my dog? 
No, there's no horses around right now. She's in the arena. Oh. Maybe got a shock. Yeah, I always get shocks. All right, Ken. This is a warmer blanket, and I'm hoping it fits you better. I'm holding on to my puppy. All right. Here it is. Smell it. Here. She like it's purple. Yeah, smell. She's, you don't like purple? She's scared because she's not used to blankets. But when she, honey, okay. Oh, girl. Oh, the girl. The girl. It is loud. Girl. Oh, God, oh, girl. My horse, you just throw blankets on. Yeah, well, this horse has never had blankets before. The moat, did you put on her before? I I mean, I have, this is how I've done it every single time. And once it gets on her, she's like, ooh, I like it. Oh, do I have to put Willow's blanket on them? Oh, they all have their blankets on. Oh, they do? It's the winter. See, I think this is too big. She's got small shoulders, Ken. Oh, my God. Well, I should Stella's saddle. What? That's why she fits Stella's saddle. Stella had big shoulders. Nope. She was just fat. Oh. You're too skinny, Penny. Alright, so uh, we have absolutely zero blankets that fit her. Alright, I'm taking plenty of Alright, it does not look that bad until she stands up. It looks bad. Like, it's just so big on her. But I want her to get used to wearing a blanket. I need to see if she's a 76 or a 72. Cause this looks huge. Penny, you are such a different funny body. No, just let her run out. No, I'm not letting her run out. I don't know. Yeah, put it on. Dad did it. She gets rubs with that blanket if it's too tight. It's gotta go on the loosest settings. Yeah, it doesn't fit if it's too tight. Look at Gracie coming in for the kill. Uh oh. So, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday's video, but I showed you guys Penny telling Gracie off. And the crazy thing is, is that that is Penny's energy level all the time. Like, people say, are you scared of her? Especially when the bit was bad and she was running off with me, sort of. And um, the answer to that is no, because no, Penny... No, because if you get stronger, she'll stop. I know what your answer's gonna be, because she's gated. I don't know if it's that she's gated, but she doesn't really put out much energy. Look, I can run a lap. Oh gosh. It is windy. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. We should do. We should do laps. Yeah, I don't run hot there. I used to run. Running used to be my favorite. Awesome job. Where's your puppy? Oh, she's locked in a room. Right, so uh, let's do chores and then get up to the house and get our stuff done. She just to put hay inside. Go ahead, put a little yeah, inside for her. Again. I noticed that this girl's a little bit thinner than she was, which is good because she was getting way too chubby. But I don't want her no, to like... No, it looks like she's getting skinnier. I don't want to run off the food. But anyway, the point of my story was that I got interrupted again. <gasps> the point of my story was that Penny is not a fighter. She's not a jumper. She's not a runner. She's not a fighter. Like. She gives up so fast. Doesn't she give up so I fast? I teach your horse how to jump. No, my horse doesn't like jumping. I already can tell. Yeah, she can go over poles, but I can already tell. Like, jumping is not, like, she doesn't, that's not her thing. She doesn't like to do, she's, she thinks she's a lazy girl at heart. I do, and I like that. But she also has energy. Like, she likes, she's like me. Like, she's just like me. Hi. This is my princess. Gabby's taking care of you. Don't you worry. I need to help you. Sometimes when like she's giving Gracie her, her own food, she puts it where Gracie can get it, where nobody will bother her. And sometimes when the parrot is here, she just looks up out the door and smiles. Aww. Just smiles at us. Oh, Will. Oh, in. Will is like I am not breathing that cold. I looked over and my girl was here. And then Gabby went out and scared her away. Are you coming, Penny? Are you coming? She's kind of wary of Gabby. Because Gabby moves fast, like a child, which is good for horses.
I'm a child too. I know. <laughs> Noise and Oh, look, Willow. Motion Willow are all dog. good for horses. You know My point is, is that kids and noise are the best bomb proofing making machines that you can purchase. So if you have an opportunity to go out there and purchase a child for your horses, yeah, it's true. They might not hurt you. The horses might not appreciate them at first, but over time, that's how your um, horses become more adaptable. How do you guys think all of our horses turn from horses into puppy dogs? Because our boys are exactly like puppy dogs. Even the owner of the other barn says that they are just all a bunch of puppy dogs. And it's because, and Kaylee's horses too. And it's all because we have noisy, crazy kids that have taught our horses that all noises, the noise is not a thing to be scared of. Hey Penny, you come in? You come in? I would walk through the mud for you, Penny. That's how much I love you. She would walk through the mud for me too. Hi. Or, or at least she'd walk through the mud for a carrot. It's gonna be muddy today. You come up with me. Just gotten used to this cross love from my list of to do. Look it, you guys see it? Oh, you missed it. But Penny was having a drink at the same time Lexi was having a drink. It was the cutest thing. You see Lexi's tail. I didn't ask to be turned around upside down, but here we are. makes me nervous but that's all she does that's literally like this is the best for me like even though she's bossing Gracie around like that I mean that's not so bad right Gracie you had worse you had worse huh and the Christmas stuff start piling in you guys um, where's that from um, Sprucewood. Sprucewood tax shop. Sprucewood tax store Christmas presents we already um, have a few under the tree all right, girls are finishing up. Actually, Sophie's done. Gabby's just finishing up school. Gabby and I are having um, salad for lunch. You want this? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of sauce. Oh. I like a lot of sauce. I don't know about you, but I love me a Caesar salad, a chicken Caesar salad. It has bacon on it. Gabby and I eat a lot of this. Even Sam eats a lot of this. Even Sophie eats a lot of this. But today, Sophie is having a... Uh, grilled cheese for lunch. We're getting ready to go to the barn. I'm frozen. You know those days where you just get cold when you wake up and you just cannot get warm? Yeah, that was me. That was me today. Apparently the puppies are enjoying my heated blanket though. My Christmas heated blanket that I got last year. They know how to turn it on. They know how to enjoy that blanket better than anybody else. You guys are so cute today. Wow, don't you look fancy. All yeah, right. she was really good at parallel parking. parking. <laughs> parallel parking? Par parallel um, parking. <laughs> fins. Fin. Oh, which one am I going to The blue one. The red or the blue? The blue. With the neck? I would leave the neck. Like, they don't need a neck, neck. Yet. need a neck yet. The neck yet. My neck gets cold. So that's the new one that we bought for Chino, just for Chino. I need to. It's a size 81 or 82. Yeah. We I have two we necks. Should, we need to bring the neck there for when we clip them. Yeah. It's gonna be underneath his neck. Yeah, so we'll so do all. Yeah, so we'll do that when we when we do it, and we then. This one for storm? So yeah, we can the take. One. Your choice. The red one is it thick enough? The red, red one? one? No. 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 Or this well, one. the red one's thin, thick. Everybody, clap your watch. hands. Get ready. Three. I don't want to watch. Three, I'm two, gonna, one, go, go. go. <laughs> just jump. I'm going to you. Just let, just jump. jump. Ah! <laughs> Even though we ride like the same days every single week for life, like we're pretty good about sticking to a schedule. 
I don't think our horses figured that out. Because Sorry, I, the paint we're playing. I feel like we're on the long haul for them today. Let's explain. Yeah, probably Chino playing because it was a his. We saw Storm playing with a paint horse. I don't think it's text because it didn't have a blanket. So explain to them what's happening today. So I'm riding Storm so I can jump. No, you're riding Storm so you can practice. So I can jump. No, there's no jumping. Brendan said he's going to be watching you. Gabby, who are you riding? Oh, the jump store. I'm riding Finn. We got Tex, Chino, and Finn. Where's your horse? Um, oh, he's okay. by himself. So Why Storm is there tape on a horse. Apparently, Storm was rearing, and yeah, there's a horse over there that has a big piece of duct tape. I bet you he broke free from his blanket. So there's our two right there. Oh, he's coming. He's like two friends. He's like, I got you. Maybe he wants a sign, Sophie. Huh. So technically, Sophie's supposed to be... Uh-oh, what's happening? He's coming. There's a horse chasing him behind. Oh, no, that's his friend. So Gabby, Sophie said they were rearing up at each other. Come oh, on! Storm's trying to kick him. Oh, well, because he's right on top of his butt. Storm. Come on, buddy. He's trying to kick the other horse. Yeah, kick him. No, just joking. Storm does not like some people. Storm does not like people smelling his butt. Do you think he's stuck? Uh -oh. oh, the horse was playing with his blanket. Uh oh. Wait. He's playing. you go. He's maybe playing. Ooh. The horse is holding Storm by his blanket, which is why he couldn't walk. He what? And then which Storm is, is kicking him. Which is why Storm is kicking him, saying, "Get the heck off my blanket, dude." He's, he's, he's just standing there staring at us. He's like, I'm not coming. You can't make me. Storm. Run, I'm Storm. Today. No, don't run. <laughs> just joking. You be catching him with me. You be catching him? I should only be talking proper English until you guys have learned it perfectly. <sighs> okay, so one thing I want you to do. Oh, his blanket looks a little askew. Come on, big guy. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, it makes me laugh. I don't like it because then the stampedes begin. <laughs> oh, when they know that their family has come in and they run away. Oh. Keep going. I'm filming. Oh, there's a girl. Ooh, there's some action happening. There's a girl. There's always action happening. Girls are no good. Oh, now we think it's a gelding. Storm's over here making friends, which is good. I'll take you, I'll ride you. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's really going for it now. And we're walking in among all the horses. Storm, this is not a joking matter. Get your butt over here. See, if this was Penny, she would have already given in. So he left all of his friends behind now to lead us on a wild goose chase. Storm. Oh my god. And he's off. <laughs> I think Storm said no. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Race horse Storm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. People think Storm is slow. We should go to the gate now. Oh. We should go to the gate now. Let's <laughs> keep going. Slow down, big Thanks. boy. Yeah, he's home now. He's home. Got it. I'm going to take you walk. Because <laughs> we're flying. He's going to get scared and get sick. And then he's gallop. We got Storm's game now. So he takes us on a wild goose chase. When he doesn't shake us off, he gets furious, runs as fast as he can. Back and then goes back home where we could try to catch him to begin with. Like, so yeah, he's at home. He's back at the beginning. Those horses are just watching. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to. Sh like, that we're horse? Sur we're oh. surrounded by horses. <laughs> and the thing is, that was all storm. Like, I'm gonna make sure he's got more supplement. Maybe he ran out and I didn't know. And this is where I want to challenge all of you people out there that say that horses don't think this way. The horses can't plan. Horses yes. can't think about things. He knew we were coming for him. He knew he was saying no. 
he, he ran and then he gave in and he just went home because he knows that that's where we want him to go like he's gonna get and water. he's done this every time that he's run from us he's done the exact same thing he's so thin. so oh gary's bucking don't even try and tell me the horses don't think where'd he go now? because man he's just gonna come galloping they think up. they plan let's go this way they have revenge in them they have love in them they have hate in them. They have all the stuff. You go that way? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's like, I've just been standing here the whole day. <laughs> Find the hearts, you guys. I always notice hearts. Everywhere I go, there's love, even in the mud. I believe that God always shows you signs to remind you to be the person that he wants you to be. To love one another. That's what it's all about. It's not about making sure everybody knows you're right. It's not about making sure that everybody knows your way is better. Isn't this storm? Oh, that was Chino. It is about, that's probably Gabby calling me. It's about loving each other. Oh God. Stay there. And supporting one another. How are we doing this? He's <laughs> hiding. All right, I'm going this way. <laughs> you devil. And then he just puts his head right in there. Did you call me? No. I oh, need help okay. That. So, guess what your horse did? We went for a fucking Do you remember that day before the show where he galloped yeah. and galloped and jumped and galloped? Well, oh, today... He has no energy, though. He, oh, he had energy. energy. He, he put on a show for he us. He's puffing, I can tell. Oh, yeah, he put on a put, show. Put on his cooler in the cross ties. He was walking the whole time. Oh, he was walking away, walking away, stopped to play with some friends, walking away. And then all of a sudden, once he hit the clearing, whoosh. And then he did a little circle and he didn't see us he anymore. And he galloped. Oh, my goodness. He and then he galloped home. Off. And then galloped you want home. to be dry, walk him in that arena and put sand all over them. I did that with Finn. It helps. All right, we do. the cross ties, put on his sorbet cooler. I know how he got that cut on his neck. Want me yeah, to tell you how? Playing. Yeah, Play playing. Time. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. I love those kind of shows. I love days when Storm puts on a show for us. I love the days when our horses show us their true personality. Gabby jumped Storm and played with Storm and did so much stuff with Storm yesterday. And I think today he's saying, no, I don't want to do it. He has no idea that Sophie's riding him. And I think you have no idea that you've been Gabified. Gabbyified. You're getting painted feet. That's my guess. You want painted feet? Wait till you see the sweet girl I have at home for you. Oh, she doesn't really like other horses though. She does. She just doesn't show it. I just told Gabby. <laughs> I just told Gabby that you should have seen the fin or storm. He broke record speeds. And she said, Yeah, he does until you sit on him. <laughs> and when she sit on him, he's like, do 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 do. I Just wait. She's why can't you just tack up a Oh, Sophie has to be in the front, you guys. When we complain about Storm being slow and stuff, keep in mind that we understand that he's slow and that that is part of his value in this world, that he is really good with beginners and that he's a safe horse. Like, that's why we bought him. That's what we love about him. Well, he's safe as long as you don't... He loves kids. He loves kids. The smaller the kid, the more he loves them. And he loves to tote them around. Like, that's his thing. He wants to just walk them around. It's only when they get, like, to the point where they're bigger, at, like, around 11 or 12, and they start, like, really making them do stuff, and they start kicking them and stuff, that he's like, get off me now. But under that age, and probably he'd be excellent for an older woman that doesn't want to do anything, oh. like, anything crazy. But he's not good for me because... I can't make him go. Yeah. I can't make him go. Sophie, can you make him go? Yes. Okay. Oh, I get to use my whip for him. Yeah, I don't enjoy that kind of stuff. So that's why I don't like it. Finn I don't like him. Finn doesn't poo for me. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I'm Yay. so lucky. All right, hurry up and get ready. He's got tons left. He's got lots of, lots of supplement, lots of magnesium left. Interesting spot for a glove. I am frozen now. Magnesium. Yeah, he's never. He's even extra slow. Just joking. Obviously, he's not slow. He's not. See those booty muscles? See the bus muscles on his butt? Those are not from us. Storm's like, what is this? 
What is this change of life? What is she putting on storms? So, oh, it's because this is what he, this is the new thing, so. I'm not riding in that. No, you don't have to ride in it, but he's sweaty. You gotta you keep him warm. Before you go. Before you get on. No, you walk around in it. Yeah. You take it off before you ride. I feel like I've been trying to push some this whole entire ride. Let's go, let's go. I hate to rush them, but I need to ride my horse. Not because I want to ride my horse, but because my horse needs to get out. All right, so Chino's missing. Chino's gone. So Gabby's gonna go on the long haul. <laughs> we had to do that. <laughs> Today is a very special day. It is our fifth year anniversary on YouTube. We have been making daily videos. We started right out making daily videos. We've been making daily videos for five years. Five years, and we did miss maybe Maybe five days in total in five years, and none in the last maybe maybe three years. Three years, maybe, yeah. So yeah, five year anniversary, you guys. 100,000, 105,000 subscribers. Five's our lucky number. Anyway, I just wanna tell you guys that. Hi right, guys, I'm at the barn waiting for Laura to ride. And I got a treat to bribe. I never have a treat when I'm with Penny, so now I'm gonna bribe you with this carrot. You want this carrot, Penny? Oh, look at you. <laughs> See, she usually puts her head away, but she knows I have a treat for her. There you go, good girl. You can easily bribe. I'm bribing her, slowly. Hi, Penny. Oh, Penny, you looking for more treats? I don't have any more right now. I just gave you one. Don't you know?